people and welcome to why we believe the word of god says in revelation 12 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb oh. and by the word of their, their testimonies, testimonies. Oh. and they love not their lives unto death i'm showing and i'm ronda and today we have a very special couple a beautiful couple that yes. we recently met yes yes before we introduce this couple let's just open with a word of prayer mm -hmm. Father in heaven, we want to give you thanks and praise for sparing our lives to see this day. Mm -hmm. We pray, Father, as your children, Lord, give or share their testimony, we pray mm -hmm. that as it goes forth into the homes, into the, the minds and the hearts of those individuals, Lord, that they would truly internalize mm -hmm. and that this testimony would be a blessing to each and every one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I pray that you would continue to cover them and their family, Lord. Mm -hmm even as they have have shown your greatness mm -hmm. towards them so bless them today bless all of us mm -hmm. in a mighty way i pray through your son jesus christ amen 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 amen, amen. 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 Yes. amen. ezekiel and natasha yes. yes welcome to the why we believe family. <laughs> yeah great amen. great amen. to be here great to <laughs> be we're here. so happy to be here yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely, absolutely. Amen. <laughs> all right so tell all viewers who is ezekiel and natasha your first son, Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I'm Natasha Williams. Um, I'm from Trinidad. I left Trinidad when I was 17 and I went to uh, New York and I met this gentleman here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, well, a, I'm Ezekiel Williams and I left Trinidad when I was eight years old. Eight, okay. But uh, I'm not finished with my you're not part finished? All right, no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I left um, Trinidad at 17, went to New York to stay at his mother's house mm -hmm. with my mom. And prior to me um, coming to the States, it was a last minute decision. I'm a, the first of six children. Mm -hmm. Plus my mom raised my aunt's two children. She died when they were five and two. So I was the eldest of eight children. And she would come to the States, work for three, four, five, six months and leave me to wash and clean wow. and take care mm -hmm. of the kids. So this particular time she was coming, I'm like, I'm coming with you mm -hmm. because I didn't want to stay home and do all this work <laughs> anymore. I was 17 at the time and she was doing that since probably I was 14. Wow. Wow. So his mom and my mom knew each other. So whenever she went up to work, she would stay at his mom's house. Hmm. Two weeks prior to me um, coming to the States, mm -hmm. he was living with his girlfriend. He broke up and moved back to his mother's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's kind of divinely entwined. Sure, absolutely. And I, I'm not done yet either. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. All right. So no, I'm just joking. He, mm -hmm. we, we go back and forth like this all the time. <laughs> nice. No, so um, soon after um, I get to the States, met him. Mm -hmm. um, Your life has changed. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we we started um, being friends right away. He had um, other motives, though. I just mm, wanted to yeah, be friends. Mm, mm. All right, and, that uh, is so not true. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, said, he said I trapped him with um, the next. I came on a Thursday, and on Sunday I made a feast with my mom, and I, you know, like Trinidadians, we like to entertain, but not so much. We always, as young ladies, you're always taught to serve. Yeah. yeah. So me and my mom cooked and we served everybody. But he swear to this day that I trapped him. It was <laughs> right. entrapment. And no, I would let him speak a little bit about himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, like she said, I, I was, I left Trinidad when I was very young. So mm. 
um, went to the States, lived my, of course, my whole life in the States. Yeah. Um, moved out of my parents' house, not forcefully, but, you know, was young, yeah. running the streets. All I right. was not a Christian. Yeah. Um, believed there was a God, but wasn't a Christian per yeah, se. Right. Um, but um, we, when she came to the house, I never met her. I never knew, I knew her mother, mm -hmm. but I never met Natasha. Mm -hmm. So the story is I came up the steps. At my, we had a three family house in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. So I, I come in the door and I used, we used to do parties all the time. I was in a group. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was coming home and I ran up the steps, do, 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 do top of the steps and as soon I got to the kitchen mm. and there she was striking man. beauty impeccable <laughs> man. So, 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 so like I, I I just stopped I, I could tell you exactly she had on a tight fitting long dress it was long with flowered and she had a short white top on her hair was cut short I hit the brakes mm -hmm. and I stopped. I think I walked right up to you, didn't I? You did. I walked right up to her and I said, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and we, um, we, you know, we really started as friends, really good yeah. friends. Um, I was never an emotional person, so she would find, she couldn't really read me. I would always be kind, mm -hmm. always be a gentleman. Mm. Um, but we started off as really, really, really good friends and it blossomed quickly, so. Beautiful. So Beautiful. going back a little bit, yeah. so he, mm -hmm. we met, we became friends, and after, so Thursday, Sunday I cooked, from Sunday he was telling my mom, yeah, I'm going to marry your daughter wow. all the time, yeah, and he's going to see I'm going to marry your daughter, because yeah. he knew my mother, my mother yeah. would come back and forth all the time, and it was uh, about a month, and we were, you know, I would, I got a job right away, and yeah. I would go and come back, and he would you know we would talk and about we started dating like a month later yeah and got married six, six months later six wow. months later so yeah. within um within six months of meeting him yeah. and the, the, i was getting ready to come back home mm -hmm. and um my visa only gave me how much months and i um you know how they stamp your passport i was only on a visitor's visa yeah and i told him okay i'm gonna go home we started dating and i'll come back like, and nope. he was like no nope. <laughs> <laughs> and um i was like well i don't want to mess up my visa yeah. i'm gonna come back i want to go and come back and he was like no i don't want you to go i said okay, i have to go he's like so let's get married at that point i knew that I liked him, maybe loved him, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to. Um, it was so soon. It w I didn't want to commit so quickly, mm -hmm. and I didn't want it to think that I only wanted my green card. Right. Right. I wanted it that's to the be first real. Thing mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I wanted it to be real, yeah. and but you know what? He convinced me that we needed to get married. We got married, and this is thirty-seven, 37 years later. Years later. Right. Th 37 that years we yeah, 37 have been years. married and there have been struggles i'm sure yeah. we're gonna get to t touch a little bit about yeah. that but we're know. still Thank kicking right. yes indeed god is yes. good all right then it heals though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'll fire off but yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, it goes fast i don't even feel the 30 it's different yeah, yeah. if you feel the 37 yeah. i don't even feel the 37 years you know really? but it's, our oldest son is 35 travis is 35 wow. yeah mm -hmm. amen, amen. <laughs> so I mean that that was a bit fast forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell tell me a little bit about how we all uh, childhood was like. Well, they say it wasn't in, in no, church. No, yeah, tell no, me a little I little about that. I, I, my parents were Catholic, mm -hmm. um, and I growing up in the Bronx, mm -hmm. you know, they never, rough neighborhood. Yeah, it was yeah. rough. It was yeah. rough. Um, she was amazed at the amount of freedom I had. I because she was, was a very come from a very strict family mm -hmm. mine's was i have five brothers and two sisters and it was survival of the fittest right. you know so um yes my parents loved us loved us but it wasn't it wasn't they were working hard. yeah they were working hard they mm -hmm. gave us the best that they could so i never mm -hmm. held anything against that but yeah. um i never had a any kind of religious background all right. I knew there was a God and I used to always say, well, just as long as I'm good, I treat people fine. I'm, mm. I'm good. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you don't think that it's more than just being good yeah. Yeah. because the word tells us there's none righteous, no, not one. Yeah. Right. And we have to develop a relationship yeah. Yeah. in yeah, order yeah, yeah, yeah. to really bring out how bad we are. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's where I am. She has a much better 
um, upbringing as far as the church is concerned than I do. What's about the upbringing? Um, I grew up, I think we joined the church when I was probably seven or eight. Mm -hmm. um, so the church was extremely important to me. Mm -hmm. And all of my um, freedom came in the church. Mm -hmm. My mother was very strict. She had me when she was 16. And she just wanted, you know how parents are protective because they don't want you to go through the same thing that they, that they went mm -hmm. through. Yeah. So when you say when you say protective, you mean all parents or Christian parents? Um, I, I wanna... think it could be. I think it could be on both uh, both, yeah. both, both, right. both, both right. aspects. Okay. You know, I was her first girl, and she yeah. oh, certainly okay. didn't right. want me to yeah. have. Um, a child at 16 Six. like she did yeah. uh, so her form of protecting me was being over protective yeah. and m monitoring my every step mm -hmm. uh, to give you an example um, when I started junior high school she walked to the school with <laughs> me and she timed how long it took to get there and Whoa. then she walked back so it took 20 minutes to get there it took 15 minutes to get there and she tacked five minutes on and I could not come home more than five minutes after the time. Whoa, yeah. Or there nice. was serious repercussions. Yeah. So nice. um, coming um, to church, that was my only freedom. We had pathfinders. We went to camp. She would entrust like people from like, that was yeah. from the church mm -hmm. to take care of me to go to camp. And, you know, as long as she had tabs and knew who, when, what, but, why, yeah. mm -hmm. she was okay with that. <laughs> So um, I love the Lord, but I also wanted to experience outside. Mm. Like there, was, there would always be a pull, a draw, especially mm -hmm. as you become a teenager. Mm -hmm. So when we, um, I left Trinidad when I was 17, and that was just about the time that I was feeling myself mm -hmm. and just about the time where I wanted to explore the world. So when I got to New York, it mm. was like, forget about <laughs> church yeah, right yeah. now because mm -hmm. I need to, you know. Live. I need to live a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. And, yeah. You think, and you don't yeah. think yeah. life is yeah. in Christ. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. You don't think life is in Christ. So for me, um, church was wonderful, mm -hmm. but I felt a pull from outside. And I think a lot of the youths today feel a pull from the outside because it just glitters. It looks good. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do the other in church. Mm -hmm. And although I loved all the things I was able to do in church because I found my freedom in church. I also saw my friends that were doing a lot more that I couldn't get to experience. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. You, you know, you, you said that and, and I could picture why a lot of youths feel that way. Sure. But yeah. I like the fact that you said it was a deception. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Definitely the devil always paints this mirage. Yes. And so outside is better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, go ahead. So I met um, Easy, and I felt like uh, my mother came to the States with me. We were both there. And one of the reasons I wanted, um, not that I wanted to get married, but I said, you know what? If I get married, I'm under my, uh, I'm mm. out from under my mother's thumb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I, I thought about it and I said, yes, I love Easy. And, you know, maybe it's better that I stay here. But also, and it's not like my mother was bad. I don't want to paint yeah, the picture yeah, yeah. of my mother she being bad. She, she yeah, yeah. wanted to thought? protect me from the hardship that she went yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she wanted to preserve that. And, you know, she had like worship with us every day. And some of the things that my mom taught us brought me back to the church. So she'll wake up at 6.30 in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning and wake us up every day, Sunday, whatever day, Friday and have these long worship. And she had a big family Bible and she oh. would read the Bible to us, explain every text and bring in Genesis to Revelation in that mm -hmm. Psalm that she read. <laughs> yeah. And you know, children, our ear could only, we could only <laughs> um, take in what our butt could endure. Mm. So, you know, and we couldn't fidget with her because it was like, you could pay attention to everything. But when it comes to God, will you can't pay attention. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. She would pray after the worship of songs, which was good and, and, and stuff. She would then pray with us and she would pray for everybody. She got that from my grandmother. She'd pray for the beggars by the wayside and hedges. She'd pray for women in childbirth. She'll pray for all her family. And then we would be sleeping. Mm -hmm. uh, but after this long prayer, 
she would um, then um, get up out that after she said amen, we knew the next thing made the words of our mouth and the meditation <laughs> of our hearts yeah. be acceptable yeah. in your sight. And if we didn't come in on cue, yeah. on time when she was done, when we were done, whoever didn't chime in that big family Bible, she would beat us. I beat the devil out of you guys. And <laughs> 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 because she mm-hmm. wanted to make sure you could watch the TV, you could play with your friends, you could do this. But mm-hmm. she wanted to make sure we got Christ in it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. So tell us, okay, you're, you're in the States, Ezekiel asked you to get married, and you said that your, your parents were friends. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So how did yeah. they accept that? Mm. Interesting. Your father um, loved it. My <laughs> father, my father loved Natasha. Mm-hmm. Um, Your mother too. My, my mother loved Natasha too, but one 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 very important thing I think occurred was um, we were when we just got married we were staying yeah. with them and yeah. and you know of course Natasha she's like a fantastic cook she loves to serve people and yeah. do things like that and I had my family my brothers and sisters and stuff were there it's a big house mm-hmm. you know and she would cook and she'd be taking out food for everybody and doing all yeah. that stuff yeah. and afterwards cleaning the kitchen and doing all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, it, it came to a point where um, I had to protect her now right. because I had to step up in my mother's house and say, my wife is not your wife. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you yeah, understand yeah, because yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause people can get very yes. comfortable yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because, and she does it with a willing heart, mind yeah. you. Yeah. She's not doing it begrudgingly or anything like that. Yeah. She's doing it willingly. But sometimes people feel, oh, well, how come food isn't done yet? Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, you know, yeah, she's yeah, doing yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, my parents my parents were cool with it. Her mother, I loved her mother. Her yeah. mother was like my mother. Yeah. Nice. Her mother I really had a great relationship with her mother. And, and I mean, we got, she's, her mother knew, know, known me since I was a little boy. So. Yeah. I, I didn't have a problem at all from yeah. that aspect. It was it was really smooth. The transition from just being um, someone she knew to now being her her son-in-law, you know, yeah. it's a pretty smooth thing. His mother took my mother to the hospital to have me. Yes. Okay. So yeah. that's the family ties. Um, yes. The family goes back a long, a long way, long and time. his father used to bring him. Me to my grandmother's house to babysit, babysit both of both us of in us. the same crib wow and he, he told her grandmother he yeah. told her grandmother take care of Ezekiel because he's going to marry your granddad wow <laughs> Wait, what, what yeah, I just yeah. said it was divine what divine intervention, intervention. intervention. Exactly. yeah and that's that true and it. she found yeah. that out from your grandmother Both right your, yeah my grandmother and your, your father, father said told the same us told thing. us the story yeah. on different you know, that, occasions that, that, wow. that, that's how but I never, I never knew her until yeah. she Yeah, because he, he, um, he left young, and I, mm-hmm. I, I grew up here in, mm. in Trinidad. So wow, I love it. Really? Yeah. Divine really? intervention. Mm-hmm. Y'all were sleeping together mm. before y'all was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No pun yeah. intended. No pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> so, all right, y'all married and and living together. Mm-hmm. Well. Tasha was a Christian. Yeah, yeah. You were a Christian. No, no. I, I, I'm kind of interested in how that worked out. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, you want to go? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wasn't a Christian. I loved the Lord, but remember, I, I told you, you a Christian, yeah. I I knew the Lord, mm-hmm. and okay. I had a relationship with Him. But remember, I told you I wanted to get out. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, now that yeah. we're married, we're living life. I'm getting to do all the stuff that I didn't get to do. You know, go out on um, Sabbath and <laughs> do this and do that. But sure. I tell you, um, I always would try to find a church um, because although I was outside, I would feel some uh, like this tug. Mm. You know, you're out there doing your own thing. Mm, you need yeah. to come back. Yeah. So I would go to other churches and I felt like, OK, if I find another church that's mm, not yeah. as, that you know, time. strict as the Adventist church, I would be happy. So I would go and I would go to church and he would be this is a great church because sometimes he'd come with me. And I say, yeah, they're great. The people's nice, but they're not keeping the Sabbath. They're not mm-hmm. keeping the Ten Commandments. That's and if you break, mm-hmm. if you break one, you break all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that would be my, my. And I would tell him that all the time. Mm-hmm. But um, what brought me two things brought me back into church. The first thing was um, this time I have two children. Um, Travis was about three or four, and 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 I um, Terrell was one. 
and we were driving from the Bronx to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And um, as I got on the highway, I, my sister was traveling with me. I turned around and I said, your seatbelt is on. And I made sure everybody's seatbelt was on. And as I turned my head back around in the Bronx, it's hot. There's, mm. It's no other recreation. The kids would turn, kids would on, turn the fire, on the fire hydrant, hydrant and just be bathing in it mm -hmm. because yeah. that cold water on a hot day would just feel splendid. Mm. Yeah. So they have it on the street turned on, but it's now flooding the highway. So it's oh, coming over um, where they are straight onto the highway. And when I saw them with all this water gushing onto the street, the highway, I started slowing down. So I was able to come, I was probably got up to like 65, but I was able to bring the car down to like 45. Mm -hmm. And as I brought the car down to 45, my car hit the water and started hydroplaning. Mm -hmm. 360 mm -hmm. on the highway, couldn't stop. And it went um, like two of this, yeah. the length of this house or a little longer, just spinning. And um, there is like, you know, those concrete dividers that divide yeah. the north side from the south yeah. side or east from west. Um, when the car stopped, it stopped, it turned like this and it stopped in between, uh, right just before the, it just came to a dr dead stop. Like the car was picked up and dropped. And when it stopped, I couldn't put my hands down between the car and the concrete divider. Whoa. And my son, who I was not taken to church, said, right. Mommy, I saw Jesus fly Whoa. over the car. Yeah. So that, he didn't know he, about, I wasn't yeah. taking him to church. Nothing. I wasn't wow. telling him Bible stories. It wasn't like we were reading I to him or anything. I wasn't reading like to him. Yeah. I wasn't doing anything. So that was lesson number one. You need to take your children to yeah. church. Yeah. I, I didn't even think of myself. I was thinking, you know, you're living your life outside, and here you, you had a mother that raised you in yeah. the church. And you're not giving your children the opportunity. So at, that's the point that I started attending church. Mm -hmm. okay. But I was attending church still not doing, not committed. I was mm -hmm. like, you know, I was... On the river, on the bank. On the river, wow. in the river, on <laughs> the my bank. Pleasure, yeah. my yes. Pleasure. Yes. Pleasure. So pleasure. that's when um, he started, you know, seeing me go to church. And I didn't harass him because I knew I'd come home and then we'd go somewhere else. We'd go get a drink, do something. And that didn't phase me, but I thought to myself, at least I'm taking my to children church. to church. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and that and that part is where, and it was quite a while that she mm. was going back and forth to church, um, still on the river, on the banks mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But she never harassed me about church. Mm -hmm. She never harassed me. Well, as, as God is my witness, the only reason why I went to church was to see where she was going on, on okay. Saturday. Right. That was it. Yeah. That's the only reason why I went. Mm -hmm. All right, because I was like, oh, she's getting dressed, dressing the kids, getting dressed every Saturday. And of course, Saturday is a big sports day in New York. So mm -hmm. I'm on watching TV, watching the games, whatever. And she's all gone. working, all working, yeah. all working, because of course I did work on Saturday then. Yeah. Um, so I finally went and lo and behold, you know, that hmm. still small voice, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was doing a Daniel and Daniel the Revelation. But series you know what? At that what point, prompted you know? that? Um, what prompted that I was going to church? But 9-11 um, um, came about yeah. mm. and I was working at Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi. But prior to, be, um, prior to me being there, I temped at ION, which was the insurance company that was located in the World Trade Center on the mm -hmm. 103rd floor. Mm -hmm. And I wanted that job and I came home and I told him, oh, that place is great. I love it. The people <laughs> yeah. are great. And, you know, I didn't get the job there. And I was like a little bit disappointed because I felt like I fit into this place yeah, really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I started temping at Bank of Tokyo, which was a great place. But I felt like the atmosphere at Ion was nicer because Japanese bank, they're all about working. They're busy. Yeah, you can't it. talk. Yeah. You can't do anything. It's just like, mm -hmm. so um, I was at bank of tokyo when it happened and when um world trade center happened when the world trade center um came down i was working that day and easy was off mm -hmm. and um he, we both worked in the city but we lived yeah. upstate new york and um when it happened i'm always easy i i have like um that sixth sense yeah, yeah, yeah. whenever there's danger i'm the first one out and you can't keep up with me <laughs> it's mm. like i'm out i'm yeah. gone i'm gonna find out what happened after right. um so i um I called him when I came into my job, mm -hmm. the first plane hit and I saw everybody watching on the screen. I worked at a bank and they were on the trading floor. So they had television screen going straight across. Yeah. So I just 
chalked it up to a small plane, no big deal. I went downstairs, got my breakfast and the cafeteria and came back up. When I came back up, everybody's standing up this time. And I'm like, what happened? Mm -hmm. Because this bank, everybody head is down. No, and yeah. um, I, they said another plane hit the World Trade Center. No one talked about terrorist attack. No one said anything. I got back inside. You know, it's common to wear your sneakers in because you have to run from the train station and yeah. put on your heels when you get mm -hmm. to work. So I got, I got back. I took my bag. I put my um, sneakers. my sneakers back on and I put my sweater on and my, my boss said, where are you going? I said, I'm going home. <laughs> I'd rather be dead without a job. Than, I, I'd rather be alive without a job than dead with, with one. So I called him and I said, easy. Yeah. They just had a terrorist attack. No word on it. They just had a terrorist attack on, on the World Trade Center. They're going to close all the bridges and everything. And that's exactly and, what happened. And I said, I might not get in touch with you by cell phone because the towers might be down. Yeah. And, and we had, um, we had, you remember Nextel? The Nextel I don't know yes. if they had it here yeah. with the walkie talkies. The walkie -talkies. Yes. Yeah, that was the only thing that was working. So yeah. we had just gotten that not I long. Think, I, think, yeah. Yeah, I think we made that again a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> or like, what do you call those uh, walkie talkies? Just get the walkie yeah, talkies. Yeah, just get yeah. the walkie talkies. So I um, called him, gave him more. I said, if I don't talk to you again, I'm going to make it to your mother's house. Meet me there. And I came down from and upstate and I, I said, go pick up, go pick down. up the kids and then come get me. Mm -hmm. And I called my friends. I said, meet me at Grand Central. And I took off my boss. Just, you know, everybody was so they wasn't even thinking about me. Yeah. So when I got home to cut it short, I got to um, to the Bronx and met my I walked like uh, almost 100 blocks and got to my 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 close to my mother in law's house. But we were still in contact. He picked us up and he took us home. When I got home, I knelt down and I said, God, if I was in the World Trade Center, I would have been lost. Mm -hmm. And this is where I transitioned from just going to church mm -hmm. to being committed. Mm -hmm. yes, so sir. this was our transition. And God is so good. I can't tell you how God works. Our church that I was attending was having an evangelistic series. And on the, do you know how they make up flyers? Yeah. On the flyers had two buildings, tall building burning. And it was talking about crisis coming and the chaos that's, that's gonna, gonna, gonna come follow. with it. And, and are you on the right side? Yeah, yeah. So they were having, and this was the, it like, and this was, they started a week prior to 9-11. Yeah. And then that happened. So I'm going to the evangelistic series and now he starts coming yeah. mm -hmm. and we both um, yeah, the evangelistic series is what did it for me. It was it was it was really it was really great. But the challenge that the challenge is mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm a very logical person. Mm -hmm. And if you can show me facts and, yeah. and figures and, and <laughs> line it up, you know, then then it, it, uh, it's it's you can convince me yeah all right yeah. and when they started lining up all the world events that's happened mm -hmm. and showed you know you go through the whole statue in daniel and you, mm -hmm. you go through the different stages of history world mm -hmm. history yeah. that's occurred and what's coming you know that had my attention right away mm -hmm. and then when 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 um the gentleman i'll never forget his name his name was a little spanish guy his name was william Iannacon. he would drive hours to come do bible study with me at mm -hmm. our house and we would do bible study and then the the harshest thing that occurred was when I committed, and I was like, you know what? But tell them about the cigarettes. Yeah, I, I, so, so I when I <laughs> I was studying with William, mm -hmm. and we're downstairs in my basement, and he's and I was like, William, you know, I, I want to be baptized. You know, I want to give my heart yeah. to the Lord. Yeah. And he said to me because I was a cigarette smoker, man. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy smoking cigarettes. You know, one after the other. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And he said to me straight up. He didn't tell me I had to. But he said, "Easy, your, your, your body's the temple of the Lord. Mm. The Holy Spirit wants to dwell in you, wow. wants to spend time with you. And he cannot dwell in a polluted temple. Beautiful. That's what he said to me. He said, I'm not telling you to quit, but mm. if your heart is telling you, you, you want to yeah, yeah, baptized yeah. unless yeah. you quit. Yeah. And you, you won't, I won't be able to yeah. have you be baptized unless you give that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, I tried quitting for years, mm -hmm. for years. The next morning, the I had night. no nicotine you cravings the, at the, the all. Cigarettes. It was gone. Mm -hmm. So that was my conversion experience yeah. because there was no way. I, and up until this, I, I I didn't even, I lost all the taste for cigarettes completely. I even hated smelling it when, some, when it was around me. And that was my conversion experience. And we wow. went through hmm. so much. 
because then of course now i'm all in right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and of course my job i'm running my department uh for a, a large retail supermarket chain in manhattan and it's like okay guys i can't work on the sabbath I said, from sunset Friday to sunset Saturday. If you wanted me to come in Saturday night after the sun goes down, fine. Okay. Oh, how come? Saturday's our busiest days. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. way. I, yeah. I said, look, I cannot mm. work on the Sabbath. Mm. And at that point also, we were very ambitious and outgoing people. We also had a commercial cleaning business that we did in the evenings when yeah. we were together. So now... Yeah, I am. I can't work. I can't work on Sabbath. When I told my job that I couldn't work on the Sabbath, yeah. they demoted me from running my departments to delivering groceries. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To delivering groceries as well. If you can't, we can't have you run in the department and you but know. What and kept you? What 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 statement kept you? Oh, the great statement that kept me was um uh, another Spanish gentleman. He was actually. He would clean our churches, but he was also an Adventist. Mm -hmm. He said, Frankie, Frankie Solar mm -hmm. is his name. He passed away now. But he said to me, I was, we was going through it. And he came and he looked me in the face and he said, you know, Ezekiel, you honor God and he's going to honor, honor you. you. Amen. You honor God and he's going to honor you. And, and lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. I ended up having carpal tunnel surgery on both of my hands. Mm -hmm. I was home for weeks. She would on come disability. on disability. She would come home. She would leave me in the Bible, come home, find me in the Bible. Wow. Same spot, Whoa. same pajamas, everything on. Because I would, the word was so yeah, sweet, same. I didn't yeah, want to yeah, put yeah, it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. And every time I would call her, Tosh, bring, buy me a concordance. Buy me, <laughs> buy, me, buy me this dictionary so I can really break down the word of God. And I, that's where I developed this love yes. for the word of God because it just kept revealing new things all the time. So I was like a kid in a candy store, mm -hmm. basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? But um, then after after, after all that, after all that happened, we lost so much money because was, our business went time down. Time frame was 9-11. 9-11. So, so a lot of the businesses that we had, yeah, yep, we yeah. had like 22 accounts. We lost a lot we of lost that. like eight. Plus, he had taken a hit with oh, his um, my pay from with my his, job, uh, my income. Yeah. Then he went on disability to um, have surgery on his yes. hands because yeah. yeah. that was scheduled before. And disability in um, the New states York is like half, means a third of your paycheck. Yeah. 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 A third. Yeah. So yeah. if you were struggling on a hundred percent, right? And now Imagine you're down to, to deal with a third, thirty-three <laughs> yeah. percent, right? Um, and then what would have made it better is that the business was stabilized so a lot of times people come to the lord and they feel everything okay now i'm baptized I'm everything baptized. is going to be, gonna be all right no but right at that time came the testing his job demotion mm -hmm. disability with the everything hands happened. and now we lose um two-thirds of, of the business, business that we had so money was like tight but let me tell you God is good, right? Mm -hmm. God Holy is so time. God is let me tell you, I, I get emotional. I'm not an emotional person, but I get emotional because of how good God is. You know, we went through all this and we're coming across the Mid Hudson Bridge and we passed this supermarket. Big, huge Hannaford's and you know. I said, well, I'm looking for something else because I can't. He's on disability, yeah. I, but I he doesn't want to go back. I can't work on the Sabbath. I yeah. don't want to go back. I'm not going to go back and work yeah. on the Sabbath. You know, conviction, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I went in, gave him my resume. I think the next week they called me in for an interview. So I'm in there, went through the interview. Of course, you know, us brothers, we dress sharp. We yeah, go yeah, in yeah. and yeah. we represent, right? Yeah. You know, I went, I went inside, went upstairs, sat down with the lady. Man, fantastic interview. Everything went good, you know? And she said to me, so Ezekiel, you know, is there anything that you need from us in order for us? Because we want to hire you right now. Is there anything you need? I said, well, Darcy, I cannot work from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. That's all I need. And I haven't worked a Sabbath in over 20 years. But no, not back it up. Mm -hmm. They gave him a contract in paper that in he paper. would never have to work, have to on, work on the Sabbath. Whoa. So no matter what store he went to, they couldn't ask him. So yeah. no matter where I went, yeah, they you know what's, what's, what's great and it's important for us as Christians mm -hmm. that we have to walk the walk. We have to walk the walk. If we're going to talk the talk, we have to walk the walk because people would see me Friday. I'd be like, guys, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. I have to go. I have to head home. You have to live a certain way, yeah. act a certain yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to represent. If you if you say you're a Christian, 
be about that life. You understand? Because people would see me at work. Easy, uh, it's getting it's late. Getting you, have to, you have to leave. Right? Yeah. Don't you have to? Yeah. And they yeah. would never even dare ask me about yeah. Saturday yeah. Uh -huh. at all, ever, because of what I've been through and yeah. how you carry yourself at work. And you yeah. got to yeah. make sure that this is what you, this is what you are represent who you are and yeah, who yeah, you yeah. are don't yeah. do not be wishy-washy you know what i mean you, know, you, you said so many things my mind is just yeah, all over <laughs> um, come to bring tears to my eyes <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's you the fact that you talk about walking the walk sure we would always say mm -hmm. let your actions reflect, reflect what, what you believe, you believe. Yeah, amen so whatever you believe Mm -hmm. act in that kind of way yes. and another thing that really stood out to me when you spoke about the men the one that gave you the bible sorry the one that gave you the word mm. is because i noticed your your tone was lower mm. so which which suggests to me the mm -hmm. way in which they speak with you yeah, yeah. it wasn't with force no it, it was, was it was with it was with this type of genuine love yeah like the you know, a lot of times we, as Adventists especially, mm -hmm. we tend to be a little dogmatic and mm -hmm. a little mm -hmm. harsh, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. know, take off the jewelry, you know, all this kind of stuff. We can't put the horse before the cart. Yeah. We have to deal with the individual. Yeah. Salvation is Salvation. Uh, when oh, I came right. to church, when I started coming to church, Sherwin, Thank you, Lord. Sherwin, I had my jewelry on. I had all my jewelry, everything. And you know what? I thank God. I praise God every day that nobody said, hey, you got to take that jewelry off. Yeah, you yeah, got to take yeah. that off before yeah. you come. No. William would only take me to the word. Mm. He would say, let's see what the word says about that. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what the word says about it. And, and I've studied the whole jewelry aspect. And you know what? Everybody has their own conclusion, right? Yeah. But just as long as you're true to who you say you are, you cannot be wishy-washy, mm -hmm. especially, and not leaving the ladies out at all, but especially as men. Mm -hmm. We cannot be wishy-washy. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I love that. You know, I know I, you, I, know I, you I, love I, it. I, I love it. <laughs> from the moment we met you, all I said, yeah. I said, sure, and I like them because you no. can see the passion for Christ. Mm. And there's something about when you leave the world and you come to Christ and you decide the son, it's I'm so giving different. up these yes. things. Yes. But, and, yes. and it's a decision that, you know, draws yes. you closer. But you know yeah. What, what, yeah. what I think, um, not everybody has this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you should gamble with your Christianity. If you're in church, Stay in church. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. I was glad that God made me see mm. what was outside because mm. I wasn't missing anything. Mm -hmm. You know, what you said you, the rightest thing though, opportunity. <laughs> and we we tend to look at it like it's happenstance. It's an opportunity to be a Christian. Yeah, yeah. It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. there, there's no volunteers in Christianity. Mm. We all are called. Yeah, 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 We're yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. chosen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right? So that's why I agree so much with what you just so said. So I, I felt like, you know, I went out and I saw nothing that I didn't have in Christ. In fact, it was lacking because mm. all of the frills that people put on, mm. all of the stuff, if it wasn't for Christ in so many situations mm. that we've oh, been Lord in, mercy. I could tell you that mm. I don't know where I would be. Don't and know I, where we, we would just be. Just to, to, to touch, yeah, where we would be. Sure. Just to touch on right after we lost our business, he got demoted. Um, he now is on disability. And um, mm. we are not making our mortgage. And I don't know how they do it here. I spent all of my adulthood. We just moved back. Yeah. We were turning nationals. Yes, we had back enough to of the cold. Yes. Yes. We're yes. back yes. in front of dad. Our children, we have four beautiful children. Yeah. They're all adults. We have five. Um, four biological and yeah. one that we're guardians of. So okay. I have to say five children. So my four adult children are in New York. The last one is 25. The oldest is 36. Mm. So um, when we went through this hardship of losing the businesses, mm. um, him on disability, and um, we're paying our mortgage, now we can't make our mortgage. So terrible. we terrible. went like two months, we couldn't pay, but now we want to pay pieces. And you call the mortgage company, they don't, they want, don't want a piece. Want you yeah, have to pay the whole thing up yeah. front. Mm. So no, we can't take a portion of it. You have to pay all of it. So now we're like three months behind because I'm holding on and I'm trying to mm -hmm. like, Rob Peter to pay Paul and I'm calling I them. This. Oh, I, this I, we call so the plate the um the the place and we're trying to make arrangement and they're going through all our income um like what we yeah. have and our, all our bills and stuff like that to try to consolidate. And the guy we said we pay tides and he's like, why are you paying tides mm. and you have so much yeah. debt? That's a waste. He said it, yeah, that. I waste. mean, yeah. that's, that's a waste. That's sure. money that's that you could be going into 
didn't understand, but and it, it, it just went over his head. He even if you go through mm -hmm. what I wanted to touch on, um, we were now behind. I can't remember the exact figure. It was like either three or four months, but we were behind. Let's say I'm going to give you a makeup figure about just 4, to understand. Right? We were behind. We were maybe like, um, let's say it was forty seven hundred six um forty seven hundred seven hundred and sixty five dollars and eleven cents because just you know interest yeah. just to make a point i'm just using that number yeah um we decide we're going to put our house on the market and sell it before we foreclose and wow. try to walk away yeah. with something so we're painting and stuff like that and yeah. a sister from the church she um her husband's a doctor and mm -hmm. an acupuncturist so i told i said uh oh, pearl on my oh i said the name <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i said to her my shoulders is hurting me so bad. Mm. Um, my neck is stiff. She said, that's stress. And she came over. She said, I bring, I, I, she's from the Philippines. And she said, I bring you something. So, huh? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so she bought me an ice pack. Mm. And she bought me um, some. So her husband had given us muscle relaxer for something else before. Mm. I can't remember what it was. So I'm thinking she, she gave me an envelope. Um, and when I, um, so I said, how you take it? Because I'm looking, thinking it's mm -hmm. pills. And she says, you know, um, open it when I leave. And when she left, I'm like puzzled. I open it up and there was a check for $4,765.11. Now that's not the exact figure, yeah, but, yeah, but I, I'm but giving you the point. Yeah. She wrote a check for even the 11 cents Seven. that was due on the thing. Now this exact. is this we were faithful with our tithes. Yeah, we didn't yeah. we didn't we, we didn't. were behind on everything else, but we said, you know, we're gonna take Frank's advice and we're gonna be faithful to God. Yeah. 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 And being you faithful to tell God. Us be faithful. And then on top of that, you know, I started crying. We no before she came, let me back it up, re mm. rewind. We went downstairs yeah, and we, was, we knelt down ooh, and we, we was prayed. Praying. And we, we was prayed like, and Lord. we said, God. We don't know, what, we don't to know do. what to do. We don't know where to turn. I don't have the answers, but God, a cattle and a, the cattle and a thousand, thousand hill is yours. Lord, so, you know, you bring it. We're going to just trust you. And right after we said that prayer, we were crying through the pier. We boohoo it. We got up, you know, we, we cleaned up our face. We don't want our kids to see all the drama. Right. We, she came like five minutes later. Five minutes check later. Before you, before you pray, before you call. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Listen, Answer was listen on the it was on the way. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, on the, way. the next day, her son came and bought us another check for $2,000. Yeah. Wow. So and these, these people are, are still like tremendous friends of ours still. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how we, because I don't know if God you're, I don't know if you're like me, mm -hmm. but I am. If there was something going on financially in my house, you you wouldn't know. Never know. I'm 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 just that way. You understand. You you know what I mean? Yeah. So for them to 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 come, it was just it was just it was only God. God. Yeah. yeah, we didn't. Give it was them only any God because I wouldn't ask you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and it was it was only God. So it's it's truly amazing, truly amazing. You know? Wow. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Show yeah, your speech yeah, yeah, the yeah, power, the speeches. power of God, the mm. power of being faithful to mm. God. Mm -hmm. If you're faithful to Him, He will, he be, will faithful. be faithful yeah. to you. You know, and, and He's carried us through, right? And you know our what? There, there, there were stumbling blocks Definitely. throughout our marriage. There's really ups and downs where we would be less faithful. It's like we didn't have a straight path. And mm. we're still not on a straight path. It's like we're better though. We're better. Yeah. We're much better. We're but better. thank God, through that, it's like you know those ups and downs. It's like people as Christians, we can't give the um, create this atmosphere of perfection to people because mm. we're sinners saved by grace. And sometimes we fall, but God said, "A righteous man fall at seven, fall at seven times." times. Yeah. So no matter how much time you make mistakes, yeah. He yeah, said, "If you turn." If you turn and and and, and turn, turn to me, mm -hmm. and you 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 forget about your wicked, wicked ways, mm -hmm. and turn to me, I'm faithful yeah, to forgive. Yeah, so yeah, thank yeah. God, He's faithful, and 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 through all this these years, yeah. we've had that blessing. Yeah. yeah, God's been God's been. Uh, listen, I I want to be like Daniel and the boys, you know, because I want to be able to say, Lord, even if you don't do anything, mm -hmm. I'm going to serve you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's my position with yeah. the Lord. I, I'm I don't serve the Lord for things. Mm -hmm. I, I serve the Lord because 
Yeah. Of who, who he, he is. is. Yes, who he is. You understand? So I always like when we it's great to have this opportunity to talk about things because you get to you get to really realize some really how wretched and un Where we are. We are. And we have to maintain that frame because there's sometimes we can get the idea that we we've arrived. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. And I don't ever yeah. want to arrive. Yeah. You yeah. hear me? I want to always uh -huh. be saying like, Father, you 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 tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? You and know. it's it's so important. I find it as a man. It's 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 so important even in my marriage. Yeah. Even in my marriage because Satan is busy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand right. me? True. Satan is busy. And he doesn't let up because mm -hmm. we're Christians. He's going to throw mm -hmm. yeah, everything yeah, at you, yeah, mm -hmm. everything yeah. possible. Yeah, you know. You know, as 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 Christians, we we always have our, our ex on our back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, as I am. Yes. Yes. Yeah, just yeah. just this Wednesday, I was I was talking about that. I say we can't afford to relax. No. Mm -hmm. I say because um, the enemy he is not letting up he's, he's not, not taking sleeping. a break yeah mm -hmm. no so then why should we as christians sleep yeah, right yeah, yeah. you know um, i even i even uh spoke about uh this this writer that that i i knew of uh, long before I, I i joined the church actually when i was in the military um they, they used to do military history and i mm -hmm. always find it was very boring but it had this guy this officer who really brought uh, a different spin thing mm -hmm. and he introduced me to to a, a, a old Chinese general called Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know he he brought he brought a a, a spin to the military. But mm -hmm. when when I look at it, it applies to Christians also. Mm -hmm. He says that in order for you, if if you know the enemy mm -hmm. and you don't know yourself, mm -hmm. you would lose the battle always. And then he says if you know yourself. But you don't know the enemy. Mm -hmm. You say you would lose the battle still. Mm -hmm. The only way you can win that battle is if you know the enemy mm -hmm. and you know yourself. Amen. Yes. So we know who the enemy is, but sometimes we operate in a way that it's like if we don't even know ourselves. Mm -hmm. Certain things we take for granted, you know, allowing certain uh, uh, temptations or things that the enemy would throw directly mm -hmm. in front of you. Mm -hmm. And we, we eat it up. Yeah. You know, we eat it up, we fall. Yes. Right? But despite we fall, mm. right? It's not what you do. Sorry, it's not falling and staying down. Right. right. It's what yeah. you do when you get back up. Yes. And you know, I, I, I am so glad, you know, that the Lord put uh first John one nine. Mm. You know, if we confess our sins, yeah, he is faithful. He's faithful and just to yes. forgive us of our Amen. sins and cleanse us from Amen. all our righteousness. Amen. You know, many many would say, you know. You turn, you, you know, it's time to repent and turn away. Sometimes we turn away, but what you turn into, mm -hmm. you know, so when you turn, you have to know who you turn into. Mm -hmm. The true strength, mm -hmm. which yeah, is yeah. God. Praise Otherwise, you Amen. will keep falling. Amen. Amen. You know, so, Amen. It's a, it's you know so Sharon, as you said that, you made me think a little bit about um, a lot of times, too. We, when we go through these trials, it's sometimes we don't want to go through it, but it's for our own good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, yeah. It, because b before the trials, you're not as close to God as you should be. You're not praying mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. You're not mm -hmm. reading your Bible enough. You're not yeah. you're not sincere. You know, you're not really that you're not sincere, but it's like you're in a rush. You're ready to go. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. it's like complacency, mm. and you're taking things for granted. But when you go through these trials. Sometimes I pray and I say, God, if you need to hit me with a two by four <laughs> to get my attention so I don't be lost, do it again and again and again. Because yeah, you sometimes be you yeah. are just running life and the devil throws busyness. He throws mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. wanting to do something, wanting mm. to get ahead, wanting to support your family, yeah. wanting mm -hmm. to provide for your children, wanting them to go to college, wanting them to do. So, so he put all these things are it's good and sense. important. Yeah. But th those are things that's outside of your relationship with God. And sometimes you make that now your main Priority. thing. Mm -hmm. you're, instead, of, instead of making God your main thing, yeah. and these are, you know, these are just things that you do on the side, yeah. you do that and you do God on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God is just so awesome. The way how, you know, just breathe in. You, you didn't, you wasn't in control of that breath. Mm -hmm. You didn't control the how many heartbeats we had yeah. sitting here. Yeah. 
I mean, even our eyelashes would take the dirt out, uh, you know, before. Mm. All these things that's going yeah. on on the level that we can't even... We don't even think about. We don't even think about, but God is thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So we, he have this love and infinity for us that it's like he wants so much for us. And on top of that, he's not forceful. He's that's not saying, you know, oh. you got to serve me. He still wants you to choose him. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. given you everything and yeah. you still want you to make that choice, choice yeah. i want you to love me like i love you, yeah. you know, but I'm, I'm not gonna force myself on I'm, you i'm grateful to how i'm always grateful to how merciful god is mm -hmm. you know um because this week especially this week um in the lesson believe it or not that mm -hmm. we study um, um with jonah you know jonah was mad at god mm -hmm. He said, God, I know you're going to forgive them, basically. <laughs> he said, you're so merciful and long-suffering. that, But I'm grateful that God is long-suffering and merciful yeah. because how be? many times have I fallen? Yeah. How many times, you know, that I didn't, I didn't reach out, but he was still there calling. Mm. Mm. You know, all I had to do was reach out, right? He's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's, a, it's one of those things that, that I'm... I'm forever grateful for yeah. you know beautiful beautiful it, you know so many things went through my mind while you, were, you all were speaking when Sherwin spoke about knowing the enemy and know yourself you have to always know who you are yes Christ. indeed Christ. absolutely and, and understand yeah. who Christ is the mm -hmm. one with all power mm -hmm. for you to overcome yes. and with all power that even if you fall he will forgive yes you know as we wrap up do I, I want you all as a couple that is married for 34 years. 37, 37, 37 years. I'm shaving yeah. off years. Uh, Let me add it back. 37 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. You know, what advice would you give to a young couple who may be struggling in their marriage now? Yeah. You yeah. know, but wants that hold on Christ. Mm. What advice would you all give to them? You want to go first this time? I'll go first. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll go first. I'm quicker than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, well, well the advice... Um, that I would give mm. uh, for a young Christian couple Christian. Yeah, is that make up your mind mm. in the beginning what you want. Mm. That you're in it. That you're in it. To win it, like they say. Mm. That you're in it for the long haul. Yeah. That you're yeah. in it for the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. Because the world makes it easy to just sign divorce papers yeah. and it's over. Yeah. But you know what? I thank God every day that we held on. Yeah. I always joke with her and say, well, you can leave me anytime, but you just mm -hmm. got to take me with you. Ah. You know? Yeah, yeah. But because it. we we have to make up our mind that we're going to, number one, trust God and love God. Mm -hmm. And God is always going to be in the heart of our relationship. Amen. I saw a, a marriage um, ceremony and the preacher, he took the couple and he tied a rope around their neck. And he said, this represents Christ. Yeah. Once you keep Christ in your relationship and it at the head of your relationship and you always reach out to him first, there is nothing that can come between you, mm -hmm. right? So I firmly believe that Satan will always be trying, mm -hmm. yeah. but if we stay connected, yeah. he's not going to be able to get in. So mm -hmm. my advice is make up your mind yeah. and work at it. A relationship is work, mm -hmm. but golly, I look at people now and say, man, I'm so glad I'm not single. This is too much. <laughs> this is just too much. Yeah. Too much this game and that game and do this or do that i thank god that i don't have no parts of that anymore mm -hmm. because where we are right now god has given gotten us to a point where she knows my every thought mm -hmm. i can i don't even have to speak i don't even have to look at her sometimes she knows exactly what i'm thinking mm -hmm. you know what i mean so where yeah. else can you get that mm -hmm. right so my advice is stay in it stay in it invest invest time but more so invest a lot of prayer, yeah. a lot of talking yeah. to God and praying together. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. Pray for, pray for him and then he prays for you. Mm -hmm. When you're laying in bed, pray for each other. Mm -hmm. You know, these are things that just bind a relationship together and keep it strong. So, Amen. Love Amen. It. Yeah. Um, a lot of what he said, and I also want to add that when you get married, we got married at um, 18 and 19. Yeah. And you grow, you change the person. That change. You, the person that you are when you're married in the beginning is not mm -hmm. the same person, and you need to like adjust as you go. Yeah. You also need to 
like sometimes we're always about um we we like to say give and take mm. and it's like you only give if he's giving or i'm only gonna give 50 percent, and you have to bring the rest mm. sometimes you have to give a hundred percent sometimes you have to invest in in your relationship when the other person isn't invested mm. because god wow, invests in you all the time mm-hmm. because yeah, there yeah, are yeah. times like oh, um to give you an example i um one part of our marriage probably after like 30 27 30 years of marriage i was um selling um skincare mary Kay, um and i was a top performer i earned like three four cars like and- four cars they would when you're a top performer you get to um they'll lease a car for you for two years for free okay. and i was going across the country traveling you know um doing um you know training and stuff like that and I did, I started it because I wanted a better man for us mm-hmm. and for our children. Yeah. But then it got to the point where, you know, I, there's a famous quote they used to like short term, like to say to us, short term sacrifice for long term gain. gain. Mm. But that short term sacrifice became longer and longer. And the more successful I became is the more that I neglected Mm-hmm. our relationship mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because something had to give mm-hmm. you know something you you couldn't so our relationship kind of got like apart from each other stagnant stagnant mm-hmm. not working on it you have to invest in your relationship stagnant, because yeah. if you don't invest in your relationship the enemy knows Oof, that just he's taking on. yeah 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 he's yeah, taking yeah. a cord of everything that's going on and he's mm-hmm. gonna throw a monkey wrench in your business mm. so you have to always be prepared and Amen. sometimes I had to give up that business in mm-hmm. order to, to 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 save our marriage because it was becoming, you know, mm-hmm. it's like I'm up all night, you know, putting in all my stuff, doing all my stuff. I'm leaving him. I'm yeah. not coming yeah. upstairs. I'm not doing. So it's like he's like, are you coming upstairs? And he'd get yeah. angry. And I'm like, yeah. what is wrong with him? He knows I'm working. He knows yeah. it's the end of the month. Yeah. He knows what time it is. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah. and I would not. I wouldn't see mm-hmm. that I'm not giving him the time Dang. and attention that mm. he mm. needed. And we have to put God first, yeah. mm. family second. Mm-hmm. God first, our husband next, our children come after. Mm-hmm. Because when our children grow, uh, there's a lot of parents, young parents that would say, well, my children come first. When the children are grown, our children, we're faced in a position now where we mm-hmm. raised our children and our children are on, their, on own. their own. They, it's not that they don't love us or we don't love them, but they have their own lives That's now. Right. Yeah. And who do we have each other? Yeah. So you have to put God first, your spouse next. Mm-hmm. And you always have to invest in each other. Yeah. Invest in going out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Invest in dating. Invest yeah. in couples retreat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Invest in studying the word of God. Yeah. Invest because if you don't invest, this... um. This is like a business. Yeah. If you don't invest, your business is going to go down the yeah. tubes. Yeah. So you have to put money in the bank all the time. Yeah. You yeah. have to put you have to, to, to look at, at your relationship as an Amen. investment that you're going to work at. Because if you're not working at it, it's going to be gonna working fail. against you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Well Amen. said. Mm-hmm. Well, well said. There's a time when we ask mm-hmm. one of the most important questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes for the both of you. Okay. Well, I don't know who would go first. <laughs> but why does Ezekiel and Natasha believe? That's a that's a that's a very good, very very um, deep. Question. You want me to go first? Um, yeah, because it's 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 important. It's important. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we believe because of all the things God has shown Himself. Yeah. I have tangible experience, and it's like. There's a part in Romans that said faith to faith. It's like we're, we're on this journey and things that God brought you through, you can look back when you're going through something else. Mm-hmm. God has been so faithful to us that even when we go through difficulties, mm-hmm. we have enough credit in the bank. We have enough mm-hmm. experiences to say, you know what? He brought He's us to that. Mm. He's, He's going to bring us to this. Hallelujah. And yes. my husband's favorite line, when I'm down or upset or the, or something didn't go where, how we was planning, he always comes to me. 
this it too shall, shall pass. pass. Wow. <laughs> and we would look at each other and say, yeah. you know what? God brought us through. The, and we yeah. would just yeah. go through and just like, it's like flipping through that picture book, that photo. Uh, mm -hmm. We'd say, God brought us through this. Remember that, Tasha? You remember, remember that? When we remember <laughs> when we were hopeless in this? And yeah, that yeah, would help yeah. us to know that we have what it takes to hold on mm. and to keep believing until he comes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and why do I believe? Mm -hmm. um, because God has showed himself over and over again. Yes. Um, not, I am not a scholar by any means, but I, I developed a love for God's word. Mm -hmm. I love God's word. I mean, anything that I need, I find there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, anything yeah. that it's there. Um, and he showed himself to me um, coming from where I came from, living the lifestyle that I used to live well, as a young person. I was, like I said earlier, I was in a group, we singing group back in the days, and, and we used to do a lot of traveling all over the mm -hmm. world, and you know that lifestyle, what it brings, right? His, mm -hmm. um, if you know Kid Capri, he's a famous DJ, DJ? in um, the yeah, States. He's my best friend. Yeah. He, oh, would, okay. he, yeah. he DJed yeah. for our How wedding. Long, he DJed yeah. for our wedding and so forth. But we used to go all over the place, mm -hmm. and that lifestyle... Is not conducive to anything good. All right. You know, um, I, I believe because in my heart, I feel the movement of the Holy Spirit every, every single day, just working in my life in decisions that we make. We always ask when we pray at night, we say, Lord, just let your Holy Spirit be with us. Give us discernment, Father, because that's the only thing we have. We can't, I can't turn to the world for advice. I can't turn to the world for guidance. I let the Holy Spirit guide our lives, guide our marriage. And for 37 years, I can see every step of the way that he's guided us, took us around some curves and yeah. through some walls and broke down some walls just to make sure that we kept our walk together with yeah, him. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's why I believe because I've seen, I see how he moves in our life. Amen. 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 Hmm. Well, brothers and sisters, you have, you have heard it, Ezekiel mm -hmm. and Natasha Williams. Mm -hmm. the one from the streets, grew mm -hmm. up in the streets, <laughs> another from a sheltered home, mm -hmm. who knew Christ, some may say by force, but mm -hmm. <laughs> she knew Christ. Mm -hmm. Though she may have slipped away, God has truly kept her yeah. through various uh, situations where she has indicated, you know, she may have called it as a, what she said, a sixth sense, but God has been speaking to her and yeah. protecting her yeah. for yes, a amen. reason. Amen. 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 Dear my brothers and sisters, divine intervention mm. from very small. Mm. Mm. They share the same bed. Yes, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> then God actually united them yes. in a way that led mm. Ezekiel fall in love mm. with God. Mm. Yes, My indeed. brothers and sisters, though they were through a lot of pitfalls, they were so high and then went to so low, mm. but God kept them. Why? Yes, because of their trust mm. and love mm. for God. Mm. They have learned that if they put God first, mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't be a mistake. Mm. Yeah. There again, God has took them out of that pit, mm. has truly lifted them in a way that they continue to walk that straight and narrow path, mm. staying faithful to God because they believe mm. also that a cattle on a thousand hills yes. are his. Yes. And he provided in, in, in many ways. And they have kept their faith. Amen. Even to this day. My brothers and sisters, this is why mm. Ezekiel and Natasha believes. Yeah. Because the word of God says in Revelation 12, 11, and, and they, they overcame him by, by the blood, blood of the Lamb and, and by, by the word of, of their testimonies. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we just, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, O oh God, that there are still good people with good marriages mm. that could showcase who you are and what you have done in their lives. Mm. We thank you for Natasha and Ezekiel in a special way. Mm. 
We thank you, O oh God, for all the people out there yes. who have good marriages mm. that would showcase. And those who may have a bit of a struggle, O oh God, we ask that you would send forth your spirit. Give them the same thing that you give to Natasha and Easy. Ezekiel, yeah. that they would be drawn closer to you. Father in heaven, we, we just want to, to, to add, and I just thank you, Lord, for allowing Mm -hmm. uh, this couple to be here to testify of your greatness mm -hmm. that some boy some girl some man some woman lord would hear this testimony yeah. and decide to follow you wholly mm -hmm. yes, father you have truly shown <laughs> all through this testimony mm -hmm. all i have seen mm -hmm. is answers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father, and we, we just want to thank you, Lord. We pray that your Holy Spirit truly continues to cover them. Yes, yeah. Father. Father, and, and, and guide them along their path. Even their children, Lord, Father, continue yeah. to cover them with your blood and plant your hedge of protection around them. Yes, Father, continue to provide for them in a mighty way. Mm -hmm. And I pray that, that, that even as this testimony goes forth, Lord, yeah. that those hearing, Lord, would would recognize the seriousness mm. in being faithful yeah. to you. Amen. Ah, that if they stand for you, that yes. you mm. will stand for them. Amen. Yes. Father, help us. Help us to be convicted through your word. Mm -hmm. And that we would allow our actions mm. to continue to reflect what yes. we believe. Amen. Yes, indeed. So, Father, today, we ask for your blessings, not only for uh natasha and ezekiel lord but for all those out there who may be in that valley of indecision mm -hmm. i pray that that decision will be changed tonight mm -hmm. and they would make or decide to follow you mm -hmm. all the way mm -hmm. yes, so bless us today we ask through the mighty name of your son jesus christ amen amen amen, amen. 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 praise the lord